You know, there's something bigger going on here, that the church has matured and grown into scales that is outstripping the capacity of the the more older institutions, mm -hmm. and they're doing all they can, and they're doing phenomenal work. When we talk about church-centered, we're not looking for the 2,000-year-old institution. Mm -hmm. We're looking for this mm -hmm. new, fresh expression of the church that's growing, expanding, and moving. Yeah. There's a very movemental dynamic mm -hmm. because of that expansion and yeah. that process of yeah. it. So when we began looking at that, we said, okay, so how would we approach this? The truth is, when you look at the larger context, what all we want, all of us are, want to see happen is that every language community that wants a Bible can have one, a whole Bible, not just a few portions, not just a New Testament, they can have a whole Bible. A church that looks a lot more like the first century, mm -hmm. here, the 21st century looking a lot like the first century. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very organic, spontaneous growth, people with Muslim backgrounds coming to Christ by the you know, hundreds of thousands or Hindu backgrounds. Tim mentioned you know, being a, uh, setting in a group with some guys from the Middle East. I have a picture of that. Those guys from the Middle East were former Al-Qaeda, Taliban. They, they love Jesus now. They want to share Jesus. They want a Bible in their language. They're passionate about this. So what we, what we want to emphasize is, yes, generally it does, take fa does get done faster, much faster and much less cost. But the more important thing is the fact that because they did the work, now they have a sense of ownership in yeah, that text. It's not a gift from somebody. Yes, absolutely. It also become part of their spiritual formation. Yeah, right. The very fact that they wrestled with that text and said, well, okay, here's how it was, you know, here's how the original source languages described it, and here's how we see it in our our gateway language, as Tim described earlier. How would we say that and communicate it correctly in our language? Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. a wrestling thing that the Holy Spirit does in you know the, the community's heart. It, the church then functions as a hermeneutic community at yeah. that point. Yeah. That process is the process we're trying to capture. All we've got endorsements, you know, from all the major Bible translation organizations that they all recognize this is where things are moving toward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at some point, we will all be here. It can't happen yeah. overnight. Yeah. It won't happen in twenty, you know, this year or the next year or two. But eventually, this is where it all goes for in terms of we realign with how God is actually working. Mm -hmm.